locomotive roller stands. Coming up next on the Baldy and Palms Railroad. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to make these locomotive roller stands. I had an issue where I needed to uh, test run a locomotive, but I didn't want to put it on the track and uh, run it around and try to check the locomotive to make sure it had proper operation. So, so what I did, I just looked around and I did see that these were available commercially then and looked at it again and said, you know what, I think this is something, a good project to build on the railroad. So what I'm going to show you in this episode is how I built these uh, with the simple simple tools that most of us would probably have around on the workshop or in the garage that you can easily make these and uh, the ball bearing, the roller bearings uh, are easily available online uh, through Amazon or whatnot. So stick around, I'll show you how I built this and um, they turned out all right. The materials you're going to need are the three quarter by three quarter aluminum L bracket, the five millimeter by 10 millimeter bolts, five millimeter lock washers, four millimeter bolts, some eighth inch sturdy plastic, and 14 or 16 millimeter roller bearings with a five millimeter thickness and five millimeter hole. Some of the tools you'll need will be a vise, a drill motor, a hacksaw or jigsaw, a center punch, hammer, Phillips screwdriver, a small brush, 1164ths drill bit, a 332nds drill bit, a countersink drill bit, a sharpie, a metric drill and tap set, some light oil, and a speed square.
Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Thanks for watching, and hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell for notifications of future episodes coming up. I'd love to hear your comments, and as always, I'll see you next time.